Welcome to Military News Today. Although Poland has been given the green light to send fighter jets to Ukraine, the potential transfer is hampered by a number of significant political and technical challenges. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told CBS News on Sunday that Washington supports the transfer of fighter jets to Ukraine. It got the green light, Blinken said. In fact, we are talking to our Polish friends now about what we might be able to do to meet their needs if they choose to provide these fighter jets to Ukraine. What we can do, how can we help ensure that they get something to restock the planes they hand over to Ukraine? Reports emerged late last month that Poland, Slovakia and Bulgaria were planning to send dozens of Soviet-era MiG-29 and Su-25 fighter jets to Ukraine. However, the rumors were debunked last week during a press conference held by NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg and Polish President Andrzej Duda. Gentlemen, as the Secretary General is now saying, we did not send jets to Ukraine because that would open up military interference in the Ukrainian conflict. We did not join that conflict. NATO is not a party to the conflict. However, as I said, we are supporting Ukraine with humanitarian assistance. However, we will not send any jets into Ukrainian airspace, Duda said. Duda's comments echo the consensus view of NATO officials and Western leaders that transferring fighter jets to Ukraine could lead to an escalation at a time when the alliance is principally concerned with ensuring the conflict does not spill over into a wider European war. In addition to the problems of Western politics, potential transfers are complicated by technical challenges. It is unclear whether the Ukrainian Air Force has enough qualified pilots to fly the MiG-29s, nor is it clear that Slovakia and Bulgaria are in a position to deliver as many jets as suggested by initial unverified reports. Transporting these planes safely to Ukraine is in itself a complex task given the risk of Russia targeting foreign arms shipments entering the country. A statement by the Polish military on March 3 seemed to confirm that no such transfer had been agreed. All Polish Air Force MiG-29 aircraft remain at their base. All Polish aircraft are marked with Air Force chessboards, said the General Command of the Polish Armed Forces.